Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So today's video is gonna be a fashion video. I haven't done one of these in a while. Today I thought I would talk about what I'm looking forward to wearing this autumn winter. I was supposed to do like a trends video initially. I did film everything and it did not turn out great. Basically this video is gonna be a combination of like new in pieces plus stuff that I already own and I want to rework because I feel like there's no point like there's been so there were so many nice pieces last year and over the last year or two that I want to obviously revamp or rewear or didn't even make it to the gram so I will be sharing those with you as well as some new in pieces this is like autumn winter but I'm definitely infusing a lot of color into my wardrobe because why not we don't want to keep it boring and plain and monochromatic although if you're into that then you know do you it's all good so coats new cards as always i know i am getting rid of some of my actually some of them are actually old ones so this is old a couple of the black ones are old i am getting rid of a lot of my coats i'm trying to so i'll be putting up putting them on my depop but there were some coats i really couldn't pass on so i'm definitely looking forward to you know the long coats you know i absolutely love autumn winter we're going more towards winter now so i can obviously bring up my big coats my big woolly coat the long maxi coats i have these two which are actually are uh, not new this is from naked fashion and um, this is from the josephine hj naked collab it's like a blazer it's like a blazer material but really long so it's kind of like a tux blazer coat if that makes sense and i absolutely love i love everything long and i really love this last year i'm not sure if this made it to the gram not sure but i do have a long coat on there as as well and then i think which was this one both from naked fashion the long wall military style kind of military style but not quite so this video i'm not going to do any like particular styling i'm going to show you if i have pictures of these outfits or pieces already i'll put it in the video if not i'll probably just do a quick try on here but at the next video i'll obviously do some like autumn winter styling so in this picture i have that coat on and i can show you how it shows you how i styled it i love the pop color on the boots with the boots because it just kept it from being quite dark and plain to like just a bit a bit of color and i felt like this season has infused a lot of bright colors which obviously isn't normal for autumn winter you tend to have your black white neutral muted greens oranges type colors but you've seen a lot of pinks a lot of fuchsia pinks in there um purples you know that sort of thing i can have multicolored coats so i'm definitely excited to you know infuse color during this time because it is quite gloomy quite boring and you want to sort of vamp it up and just like make your outfit look a bit more exciting this coat is definitely one of my favorites it is new i got this from pretty little thing it's an olive green faux leather trench coat love this this actually came out last year but it was redesigned differently it had um cuffs on the sleeve um the, the belt was different and it also didn't have this flat thing on the back but they re-released it and redesigned it and obviously I bought it again. I absolutely love this coat. Every time I wear it, I get compliments every single time. So, so, so obsessed with this. I just love how it feels. Quite a thick material too, so it will definitely keep you warm. I've been very hot wearing this around. It's just something about it. I, I just, I can't, I just cannot. It has a slight oversized feel to it. This is a size eight. Um, so I just stick to your size if you want to get this. It comes in a regular and a tall. I got the regular because it is actually quite long. I don't think it's. I'm gonna go all the way back. <laughs> this is literally how long it is. It's almost down, pretty much down to my ankles. Um, love it. So still so love it. This can be dressed up or dressed down. It can be casual. You know, have a jumper with legging, trainers, or dress it up with some boots. I did post this on Instagram, so I don't know if it's still available. Probably still is, but I would honestly run and grab this right now. This next coat is so, so cool. Very bright, but it's definitely on trend for autumn, winter. Slightly oversized, and it's giving like that, that men's dad coat vibe. It's got the broad shoulders. Again, it's pretty long. Absolutely love it. I love the color. It's so, so nice. I feel like, although it's like bright, you can, you know, dress this down. Like I am wearing black underneath and um yeah it still works definitely can't wait <laughs> this can be a really cool like office coat if you want to be about that standout vibe love it i'm just gonna turn around for you love it this was from nasty gal and i believe it sold out i grabbed 
grabbed it, I saw it, I grabbed it. Um, they had like a 40% off sale, so I grabbed it. I have seen a lot of these like dog tooth, check, pound tooth, print coats. So I'll list other ones because I know this is definitely sold out. This coat I recently got, I'm not sure if I'm keeping. I've been on the search for like the perfect gray maxi coat. Um, this is cute. I kind of wish the shoulders are a little slouchy. I kind of wanted more like, you know, the like the more like structured shoulder like this. It's from ASOS from the brand Weekday. The price was a little steep. I think it was like 130 pounds or something, 135. I felt like it was quite steep for what it is. It is quite thick though. The arms could be a little longer, but I do have long arms anyway. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. I did see one from Zara, which is 239 pounds. It's a men's, coat it's a grey coat absolutely love it it's exactly how i want it i'm gonna put a picture next to you know here so you can see what i mean love it i am praying it goes down in the black friday stocks i refuse to buy it for 239 pounds i'm refusing but so far from what i've seen the coats that i like the grey ones tend to be on a, you know the pricier side so maybe it means i should just close my eyes and invest in <laughs> to get one but this i feel like might be going back but in case you like it um let me just show you what that looks like. In case you like it, this is literally how it fits. You know, I'm not, I'm not 100% sold. So it was kind of like a really playful coat. It is as bright as you can see on camera. This one was also from Nasty Gal. Um, I just felt like, I don't know, I was, I thought it was cute. I saw this in someone and I was like, this looked nice. I mean, it's very pink, it's very bright. But again, you can definitely get away with this with like an all black underneath or gray, like maybe like a tracksuit or something. This can work also. But yeah, it is giving fuchsia pink quite bright. And the return time has, has gone, so I can't return it. So I kind of have to make it work. I think I'm gonna do like a coats reel, like a new coats reel. Maybe one of those days when I'm feeling kind of, kind of gloomy, put this on, feel a lot brighter. You know, um, but yeah, it's a quilted coat, maxi length with a belt as well. Um, speaking of like quilted, I got this one last year, I think. And this is probably probably one of my favorite coats. I will put a picture of how I styled it as well. One of my favorite coats. I absolutely love it. I love the, just like the, the oversized lapel. I love the color. There is no belt to it, but I love the oversized feel. And it just looks amazing. Like quilted style was, really in last year definitely can't wait to rewear this again bomber jackets absolutely love this color this is from asos i am contemplating getting it in a bigger size um but i do love the eggplant color this is in a what size is this this is a size uk 10. i will put it on for you it, it works as a jacket but i kind of want it to be so big that i could just get away with it as like a jacket coat where i can just wear it and just have like boots I can wear it with looking underneath, like maybe like a short dress. But this is the size. This is what it looks like on. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I could actually just keep it as it is. You know, this is size 10. It is oversized. Um, I could just, you know, like I'm wearing right now, wear it with some joggers, you know, and then like some ankle boots. But I was thinking, of, I'll have a picture in mind of what I saw. It was quite big, quite oversized, and she was able to get away with wearing it as like a a, a big jacket where she had like nothing on the knee and she just had like knee high boots but i also like this vibe too it's definitely sweater weather specifically with these i also have it's not it's also a trend as well it's also quite popular and it's the feathers and embellishment trend i'm obsessed with anything that's got feathers on them even though they literally shed all over my floor but i do have a couple more than what i'm going to show you i thought let me just showcase a couple of them because these are like quite cute the this one was from nasty gal i believe this color is sold out i also have the green one which sold out too i got this from depop so i was able to snap this from depop i don't know why i hesitated the first time around i should have got i should have gotten this over the green because the bottega green is wearable but i feel like the purple on my skin tone and just i feel like it's a lot more wearable than the green one so i snapped this up i need to move a little bit, a little bit closer you can see it's got these like feather details all over it 
love it like i said it does shed and just be careful not to tug too much this one which is a little bit longer this one is from boohoo again it's a long much a longer jumper again also has the feathers this comes in so many different colors guys if you're like right now boohoo is going crazy for feathers and i do have i think i have this in white as well and blue so excited to start that with like leather shorts leggings and boots also have this one as well from boohoo another crop jumper with the feather detail this comes in black and white and blue as well so honestly guys i there's so many brands that are doing the feather details especially for affordable prices and then this is a new piece i splurged a little this was like a close my eye and buy moment because i was you know i did see a different color in this this is the loewe mohair sweaters that you've seen all over uh, i've seen so many people rocking it in different ways i absolutely love it i love the lilac purple one i also like the multicolor the white green red this one absolutely love it then i went on the website the other day and saw this color and i'm like this is definitely more wearable this i can obviously yeah style in different ways and i love it so i did splurge a little bit on this the price of this was doesn't say the price so the price of the jumper was £725. Yeah, I, I read that back to myself. I heard that being said in my head and I questioned myself once again about why. It is overpriced, I won't lie to you guys. I love my designer labels, you know, certain pieces, but a lot of them are taking the piss. But this, somehow I know was able to, I was able to make sense. I haven't really bought anything designer in like like anything luxury in in quite a few months. It is you know warm, but I can also get away with wearing it during the springtime as well. So this I absolutely love. I'll just put it on real quick. Ever since like just before Fashion Week, I was like this is such a cute jumper. I just could not justify the price, but don't tell my boyfriend because he would not be happy with this. It's very like very slouchy, very loose. It feels quite flimsy, but also feels a little heavy. The sleeves are a little bit heavier than this part, so I would like wear it with some jeans, some trousers, smart trousers, joggers. So it, I feel like it is, you know, versatile. This is a size medium. So if you want more of a slouchy vibe, I would go for a bigger size. This was the only size left, so I grabbed it. This color is definitely um, an autumn winter color wearable with different colors and i feel like i would get a lot of cost per wear with this i hope so because yeah i was smoking crack basically paying for that i love this kind of like pleated detail as you can see like you know like a braid picked these up from plt these are the balenciaga dupe you know these sort of like motorcycle boots that everybody is literally rocking but um i just got the cheaper version like this is this one it looks pretty good on like why not has a silver hardware with the studs and uh, stilettos they're not too high but they are quite thin they are quite thin stilettos but i feel like rocking it with like a mini skirt um like a jumper and like a long coat with this like all black would look amazing yeah definitely excited to wear these too but like i said i do have a lot of boots from last year that i just would just re-wear a lot of the chunky boots these type of boots um, excited to wear these too. Um, I look. I literally was collecting them all last year. I have no more space to have any more boots, so I'm just gonna rewear and just revamp and restyle what I already have. I wanted to include this skirt in here, although it's not like an autumn winter skirt. I can actually. You can wear it autumn winter. So this brand. I never know how to say it. Aj. Age. Aj. Aje. I have a dress from them. The pink puffy sleeve dress. Absolutely love it during summertime. Then I saw this on Farfet and picked this up. I absolutely love the styling. I love the detail. So it's pleated. It has all these like, these little straps at the front. It just gives you more of a rouged effect. But um, at the time there was only like a size 12 left. So I bought it and it had it tailored. I don't know if it's still in stock cause it keeps coming, going in and out. But I just thought why not? I can style this with like, I don't know, like a black jumper like this with like knee high boots and just have the boots like showing through underneath. I feel like I can definitely make this work during autumn winter. Really, really love this asymmetrical, like the vibe it's giving. So other things I'm looking forward to, just one last thing are 
cargo pants, well, like cargo jeans. This one I got from Boohoo. I've had this for a while. I don't think it's still available. These are high waisted, but I will definitely link. There's so many others from so many other, other brands. Um, love wearing these with like blazers and you know, with, tra with trainers and just, you know, styling it all with like a long coat. I got the Attico dupes, the Fashion Nova ones. Somehow, I don't know how, I got it in like a really big size and had it tailored, so I don't know if it's, re it's really fitting the way it should fit, but they're very wide leg. This is what they look like. So they're, they're really giving those Attico, you know, cargo pants vibe. So definitely be wearing them too. So that is it for the video. I hope you liked it. I definitely will be doing some more hauls. Um, these are just some new in pieces and obviously just showing the stuff that I, I want to rewear again. I will link everything if I haven't listed them on here and just over alternatives as well. And I will also be doing some reels and some fashion videos on here also. Definitely want to bring back my fashion game on YouTube because they have, I have kind of like, let that one slip this year but we are definitely going to be on our game thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys